Alan the early goal was that sense of deja vu again for you? Um, well, yeah, disappointingly, uh, we've, we've conceded an early goal again. Um, I'm not quite sure why that's happening because uh, the preparation is, is good. It's what the players have been used to doing. Um, obviously, we, we haven't changed anything as far as that's concerned. Um, and we're, we're ending up conceding goals early on and, and through either errors or, uh, or through perhaps a bit of bad luck. Is that a frustration that you obviously don't want that to carry on into future games as well? Something to eradicate? Of course, of course. You, you give yourself a mountain to climb if you concede uh, early goals, and, and uh, you know, especially the, the nature of the goals that we've, we've conceded so early um, in, in the game so far this season. And, and it's very difficult to win games in the Premier League. It's much more difficult when you go a goal down uh, as early as we did. Having said that, our players responded and they came back well and, and I thought we played well in the first half. Um, we got into some really good positions, we played some good football to get into those positions. We got a lot of crosses into their box but we didn't particularly look as if we were going to score. Um, it was one of those situations where I didn't want half time to come um, because you know that that can take away the momentum that you've got. In the second half we, uh, we didn't start as well as we'd finished the first half, which was what I feared. And uh, and from there, we, we, it took us a, bit, a while to kind of get a foothold in the game. Unfortunately, when we were starting to do that, we conceded another goal, which uh, which was, was through a, an individual error, which isn't normal. Um, ben Foss is a top goalkeeper. He's distraught about uh, having made that particular error, and it's not something that he does on a regular basis. So. So we, we just have to, to move on from that um, and we've got to get, get back to work on the training ground and, uh, and see if we can get a good result against Tottenham. Does that second goal kind of sum up your look at the minute? Um, well, I, I don't know whether it's, it's luck or it's, it's just one of these things that can happen from time to time. As I say, Ben Foster is a top goalkeeper and, and uh, generally he'll, he'll make that a comfortable save. Um, but uh, in this particular occasion, he made a mistake. Mistakes happen. Um, our players are only human, so you just have to. You've got to accept that that's happened and, and move on from it. Was it a positive to get Blanco and Samaras some minutes towards the end as well? Yeah, it was, um, and it was difficult to get them on much earlier because, uh, you know, in case of uh, Georges, he he certainly said that um, when he played for Greece. Uh, in the international break, he didn't feel as if he was ready to play, and uh, so we were trying to kind of use him sparingly. Uh, hopefully, not at all, but he was our one forward option. Um, Seb has just arrived in, at, in at the club. He's uh, he's in in decent condition in terms of the, his actual fitness, but. Uh, He's lacking match practice and, and he's played one game since last season. So um, it was a big ask again for him, but I, I felt as if I had to try and do something. What made it even harder for them was that we were making that substitution before the second goal. And of course they came onto, uh, onto the pitch when it was now 2-0 rather than 1-0. Uh, I know a good week ahead for you now. You've got all your players, all the squad together and a, a full week to prepare for the next game. <coughs> Yeah, um, we can uh, we can try and get down to work on the training ground and, and get a lot done and uh, and be as prepared as we possibly can be for Tottenham. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Alan. Thank you.